Welcome back to Mystic Intuition. This is going to be your 72 hour weekend read for the 13th to the 15th of uh, December 2019. <coughs> I'll it for a second. Um, I want to thank you guys definitely for hitting 500 subscribers. I am just over the moon thrilled. I, I mean, I just feel so blessed for all the love and support that you guys have shown this channel. If you guys look in the description box, you can now find my new upload schedule there. <clears throat> I've also started something new, and any future readings that I put out, you can look in the description box and actually find timestamps so that you could actually skip from uh, announcements to any pre-shuffle messages and even go directly to the reading if you heard the same repetitive messages. I do always encourage you guys to listen to the announcements because things definitely do change from time to time. <clears throat> I've started something new on Instagram as well, so like if you guys follow me there, every week I've been putting up two decks and letting you guys choose which deck you'd like to have um be used for your monthly re for your weekly readings so you could definitely join me on instagram the information is down in the description box we do these from um an alphabetical order of the elements so we do air earth fire and water there'll be time steps down below so you can skip ahead to your messages please see mine are general messages they may or may not resonate uh, you could try checking your moon rising and venus signs for love and we have additional messages there also, that time is fluid, so these can be past, present, or future situations for you. Right. Starting with air signs. We have centering, choice, and intention. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini. Libra and Aquarius. Too many cards. <clears throat> Gemini. Libra and Aquarius. For Gemini. Libra. And Aquarius. For Gemini, we have centering. You know, definitely things could have been shaken up in your world lately. Things could be, um, you're trying to find your balance, you're trying to recenter yourself, you're trying to ground yourself, you're trying to get control of your life. Things have been shaken up around you. There was some type of truth, some type of communication that you had spent a long time waiting for. We have air energy here, we have earth energy here. You have been waiting for this truth of communication. I feel like it, it did come charging in towards you and now you're kind of at this, at this period where you're looking at these crops and you're trying to make a decision here. Because this communication definitely threw things off. This reminds me of the tower card. Things kind of got shaken up here a little bit. So now you're looking at this again. How much time have I invested in here? Do I want to continue to keep growing, to keep building? I'm not really sure. I'm trying to recenter my life and figure things out at this time. <clears throat> For Libra, we have choice. You're trying to decide between something. You're trying to make a decision here. You've got options. You know, what are you going to choose? <clears throat> oh my so Libra you have met someone who you feel is you know a very deep past life soulmate a twin flame possibly for some of you you've met someone and now you're trying to make a decision to work on this connection to heal it to charge forward with it to progress to move forward because you definitely feel this strong spiritual pull toward this person you do feel a very healing energy you've had to be very patient but now you're really try, trying to decide, you know, should I hold myself back from this individual? Do I charge forward? You're definitely feeling this strong, intense pull toward this person. And you know, I definitely feel like that's mutual. And Aquarius. We have intention. You know, uh, either you, your person, someone here hasn't made their intentions known in this connection and what they want, what they foresee in their future. So, you know, the advice here is to definitely let your intentions be known in regards to the situation. You're feeling very burdened, very weighed down. I feel like someone here is trying to offer you an apology here. Maybe their intentions weren't always known, they weren't always pure, and you feel very bogged down, very burdened, very, very, it's a, it's a heavy um, load to bear, you know. Uh, you've got a lot of things going on in your life, you're trying to find the balance here, for sure. This person's trying to offer you an apology, they're trying to offer you their cup. Now they're trying to come and tell you that they want to be this king of pentacles in your life. Now they're saying, you know what, I wasn't showing my emotions before, I wasn't being serious before, but now I want to offer you commitment stability. I want to be this, this energy in your life now. 
and you're, you know, still trying to figure things out here. You feel very burdened by this, by this communication that you're hearing, because now this person is trying to make their intentions known, but you're not sure you believe them, because definitely in the past, their intentions hadn't been made clear. So now you're just trying to, um, you're feeling very stressed, very overwhelmed, trying to sort through this. <clears throat> Alright, that's what we have for air signs. We'll be now moving on to Earth. If you like that, please like, comment, subscribe. Wasn't your message? Please check your other placements. Particularly your moon, rising, and Venus signs for love. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. <clears throat> messages so we have for our earth signs it's 4 December 13th and the 15th messages and guidance what clarity can we bring our earth signs page of wands flip some of you could be expecting some communication Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. All right, for Taurus, we have freedom. You may be, or in a past situation, where you were really trying to reclaim your freedom, your independence. You were trying to find purity in your life. I feel. Um, you might have been in a situation where someone kind of kept you caged, you know, and now this, you're letting this bird free, you're letting your ring, you're stretching your wings, you're really feeling, you know, weightless, right? You're trying to let go of those burdens and, you know, just be yourself, feel, feel free to be yourself. <clears throat> You've kind of at this crossroads here. You You feel warmth you feel this energy with someone it's also a card of awakening here with the sun uh, this is leo energy of air energy here as well you are trying to make a decision here at this crossroads you could be bet choosing between someone here who makes you feel warm makes you feel ready to the sun and someone who could be a bit cold or you're making a decision because this person makes you feel this warmth and you're having to decide because maybe at times they can also be a bit a little bit cold a little bit emotionless a little bit hard in their expression you know and you're trying to make a decision here you're trying to get clear on a situation because you definitely feel a pool here you feel like an awakening happening here and you just you know you want to feel free to be yourself or to make choices that serve you however that resonates Virgo, we have surrender. You've been holding yourself back from a situation. You know, you haven't allowed yourself to really go after what it is that you want, you know? And like, you're you're fighting this connection, you're fighting this dream, whatever it is. You've been holding yourself back and, you know, Spirit's advising you to surrender to it. You know, it's, um, I feel like a more powerful, a higher power is at work here. You know, God, the universe, whatever you choose to believe in, um, for me, that's God. I, I feel like you feel your destiny is somewhere, but you've been fighting it. Oh my, this, what you've been holding yourself back from is a reunion with someone who is your Ten of Cups. You've been holding yourself back from expressing your emotions or allowing this person to express theirs. There's like this energy of celebration, of reconciliation here, reunion for some of you. This person is your ten of cups. This person is your abundance, your fulfillment, everything you could have ever wanted. This person has a lot of love for you and you for them. We have a lot of water energy here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There's a lot of abundance emotionally between the both of you. And you've been fighting this connection for so long, but I don't think you can hold back anymore. <clears throat> for Capricorn, we have Perception. You're trying to get a new perspective here. Is this person wearing a false mask? Can I trust this person? Am I being deceived? Yeah. <clears throat> so there, your walls are up against this person. You don't quite trust this person. 
there's a lot of physical magnetic uh, physical chemistry between the two of you a lot of physical attraction a lot of sexual desire here this is a very passionate card with ace of wands this person wants a new beginning with you this person uh, wants something stable, committed, something grounded. They want to make this offer to you. They want a new beginning in passion and stability here. But your walls are up. You're not quite trusting this. For some reason, you're not believing this person, Capricorn. You feel like they're deceiving you in some way. You don't know if this is a sincere offer they're bringing to you. Your walls are up. You're not letting this person completely in. You're kind of peeking around here, eyeballing this offer because you want to accept it. Because, I mean, there's a lot of passion here. And there's, there's an opportunity for commitment here. But you're not trusting this person. <clears throat> All right. That was our earth signs. Next, we'll move on to fire. <clears throat> Excuse me. If that resonated for you, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. If it did not, please try checking your moon, rising, and Venus signs. You may find additional messages there. <clears throat> Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. For Aries, we have healing. For Leo, we have divine timing. And Sagittarius has Shadow Self. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for December 13th to the 15th. What messages and guides do we have for our fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for this weekend. What messages and guidance do we have for fire signs? That would just have literally spun for Aries, Leo, <clears throat> Sagittarius. <clears throat> for Aries, you're in a period of healing. You're trying to recover from something. You're trying to um, find peace in a situation. You're really working on yourself right now. You're taking some time to distance yourself to work on you to heal from past or you know current situations. Some type of message or truth came through to you. Some type of clarity came to you. Um, it came fast. Like whatever happened here, it was fast forward movement. It's now made you feel stuck inside your head. You feel very much trapped. You're trying to heal from the situation. This person's going to try to come in and offer you an apology of some sort or vice versa. Someone here is extending this cup, extending this olive branch, trying to, you know, uh, break the tension, break the silence. Um, because now you're feeling very stuck, you're feeling very trapped here, you, you're obsessively thinking about this truth or communication that came in, whatever that was, you know, it came in pretty quickly, it, things changed abruptly, you're still healing and recovering from this. <clears throat> For Leo, we have divine timing, it's just a matter of time before, you know, the universe takes control of the situation and things align how they're meant to, you know, it's, a it's about timing, it's about waiting, destiny as well. <clears throat> We have Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Three of Wands. We've got Earth, Air Energy here, Fire. Um, this is in regards to a higher level of commitment, possibly a marriage, or someone you have financial ties to, or you know, um, or a, a relationship that has a potential to go there. Some type of truth or communication came into you, and now you're trying to wait for things to kind of... Um, balance out waiting for the right time you, there's a distance between you and this individual right now there's a distance between two of you um physical emotional like there's like a disconnect here you feel like it's all within divine time because you definitely feel the potential here for long-term commitment longevity with this person there was some type of truth that kind of brought this distance between the two of you and it's really just a matter of timing before things kind of take off the way that they're supposed to this person has been visualizing you in their future you know with a sagittarius <clears throat> shadow self here um, there's there's parts of you secrets that you've guarded there's parts of you your heart your inner desires that you don't let anyone know about you know it doesn't always have to be a negative thing but there's just things that desires that you are wanting Sagittarius that you haven't made known to anybody else parts of yourself that you even try to keep hidden from yourself <clears throat> Who just got these two cards? Was it um, Capricorn, I think? You could be dealing with Capricorn. It doesn't have to be, but... We have Earth energy here. Um, fire energy as well. 
there is an offer being presented to you, Sagittarius, an offer of stability and commitment being presented to you. And the passion's definitely there. We have fire energy here. Uh, there's definitely a lot of physical chemistry between the two of you, a lot of mutual attraction here. You start to have like this epiphany, this wake-up call about the significance of this connection. For some reason, you're fighting it though. You've been fighting it, fighting the desires to move forward with this person, but you're having this wake-up call. I feel like they are too. I feel like there's like an awakening happening here about the significance of this connection. I mean, we have stability here. We have passion here. Um, the chemistry is definitely there, and you're starting to wake into this even though you've been fighting it. All right, that's what we have for our fire signs. Last but not least, we'll move on to water. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat's just really dry today. If that resonated for you, please like, comment, subscribe. If it did not, please try checking your moon rising and Venus signs. You may find additional messages there. For water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. For Cancer, we have faith. For Scorpio, we have peace. And for Pisces, we have innocence. Alright. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces for December 13th through the 15th. What messages and guidance do we have for water signs for the weekend? What messages, guidance, and clarity? What insight can we bring our water signs? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. I'm doing this all wrong. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, for Cancer. Let's see. Moving into you. Alright, we have faith. Faith that the situation um, will see you through. Faith that things can change. Faith in yourself to trust your intuition, to trust yourself. Um, you're seeing signs, I feel, um, and you're trying to, you know, um, guide yourself in a direction and have faith that you are moving in the correct direction. <clears throat> There's someone who's been extending a cup to you. They've been trying to express their emotions to you or vice versa. And, you know, the advances have been ignored here. There's, there's a block here in communication, you know, and you're kind of feeling rejected or they are. Um, you want to move forward with this individual, but you feel very burdened and very weighed down by this connection. You may feel like this person doesn't have enough time for you or you don't have enough time for this person. This person, you or them, may have a lot of challenges in your life right now. You may have a lot of burdens, a lot of struggles. You do want to move forward. You do. Um, whether in their direction or in a completely new direction. There's just this energy here of feeling rejected and feeling very burdened. And you're trying to have faith that the situation will prevail and you'll see it through. If you're a Scorpio here, we have peace. You're trying to find harmony here. You definitely don't want any conflict in your life. You want to move to a place where just things are calm, things are peaceful, things are harmonious. You definitely want that. You know, you just want to be able to um, feel that comfort, that warmth, that tranquility. You want to be at peace in a situation. <clears throat> okay, so... You know, this could be a very specific message. If it's not your message, please try checking your other placements. This is for a Scorpio who has had to walk away from a situation because they were looking for peace. They were looking for peace in a situation, so they walked away, or vice versa. Someone here walked away from a situation. You know, there were some mysteries, some secrets here with the moon here. This person's trying to apologize. You walked away, and, and now they're they're trying to apologize to you. You're feeling very trapped, very stuck inside your head. This person also feels this way. They feel like they can't progress and move towards you. They can't foresee how you're feeling. They don't understand why you're not accepting their apology. But you, you things were not harmonious. Things were not balanced. They, you didn't have the peace that you were looking for. You walked away in search of your ninth and 10th cup. You walked away in, in search of peace, you know, of your happily ever after, where things were illuminated for you. This person's trying to offer you an apology here. You're feeling very stuck here. You're feeling very trapped inside your head. Um, thinking, replaying this, this um, situation in your head. You just want to find peace here. You just want to walk away in peace. You don't want to um, have replays of the past. You're moving on. You're moving forward. And this person doesn't want to let go. If you're uh, Pisces here, we have innocence. There is a situation here where, you know, this could go a couple different ways. Um, 
with innocence, it could be just um, asking you to recapture that um, innocence more like when you were younger, when things were pure, when things weren't so hot and heavy, you know, not that that's always a bad thing, but just more that um, seeing things from a playful, fun, new, refreshed perspective, you know, things don't always have to be so heavy, you know, things can just be playful and innocent and fun. Um, there could be a relationship that you have with someone where I'm also picking up that, you know, you got, you thought you were friends with this person and, or vice versa. And then all of a sudden, you know, this person kisses you on the cheek or makes a, com a comment where you're like, wait a minute, you feel this way about me. Um, and it suddenly went from innocent to, you know, something more and you're having to reevaluate this friendship or this connection, you know, that could go a couple different ways. This person wants a victory with you. They do. They want to win you at all costs. They've been looking over the horizon. They could be um, consultant tarot readers or trying to, you know, consult in the magic eight ball. Like trying to, you know, pick in flowers. Does he, he loves me? Not he loves me. You know, that kind of thing. Trying to figure out how you feel. They're looking. They're holding the world in their hand. They feel like um, you're their destiny. They feel like there's, there's this um, faded, unfinished business here between the two of you. Um, they've been visualizing you in their future. They definitely want to win you at all costs. They want a victory with you. This person feels stuck. They feel like they can't move forward. This could be you too. But they've had like this epiphany here that you're the one. They've had this like wake up call, this illumination here that you're the one they want to progress and move forward to. They've been visualizing you in their future. Alright, that's what I have for the weekend. I hope that you guys liked this. Please like, comment, subscribe. If it didn't resonate, please try checking your other placements. You may find additional messages there. I am wishing you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.